Rugby is a constantly evolving sport and Adidas have built a brand new boot to adapt to those changes for this year's Rugby World Cup. Hi guys, I'm OJ from Level Rugby and today I'm going to be testing out the brand new Adidas RS15 to see if it's adapted to keep up with our ever evolving game of rugby. One of the biggest shifts we've seen in recent rugby history is the increased versatility of players. And the best example of this is the Barrett brothers from New Zealand. Bowden Barrett can play fly half and full back. Scott can play in the second row and at six. And Geordie can play pretty much wherever he likes. And this is the first evolution that the RS15 has been specifically adapted to. It's designed to be worn by anyone from flanker to fullback. It's a versatile boot. Now, the big question that I have is, does this mean they've created a jack of all trades, master of none boot? Or have they combined both the previous two generations to synergize something better than anything we've ever seen before? To figure this out, we're gonna have to take a deep dive into the details of how else this boot has adapted. Evolution number two of our game is the speed of it. Everyone from the governors behind the scenes to referees, to coaches, to even the players themselves are doing everything they can to speed up the game, to make it faster. And that means our equipment has to adapt too. Your running game is something that the RS7 previously enhanced more than potentially any other boot on the market. So Adidas have taken what they know from that boot and applied it to the RS15. Now they've done this in two common ways. First of all, is the lightweight tooling you'll find along the sole plate of the boot, providing you with that aggressive traction, whether you're in tight spaces, contact areas, or out in the wide channels. Also, they specifically designed this to be able to carry the weight of heavier players as well as lighter players. And secondly is the fast tech technology found throughout the boot to reduce its overall weight and provide you with that locked in feel, whether that's through the midfoot, forefoot or heel area. So the idea is that the lighter weight gives you the feeling of freedom in open spaces and the new tooling underneath on the sole plate gives you the control over your movement within that space. And I'd say that's exactly how it feels. I definitely feel in charge when I'm wearing these boots rather than the boots leading me. Another evolution in our game is the improvement of kicking across all positions, although some still do it better than others. And the Predator was notorious for the unique strike it gave you on the ball, having come from a football-esque background. The question then is how well have Adidas transferred the skills and unique features of the Predator and applied them to the RS15. As was found on the previous two boots, the RS15 retains its larger surface area to kick the ball with thanks to the asymmetric lacing system. Now this isn't going to necessarily make you a better kicker, but what it will do is reduce your room for error, as the larger surface area gives you a chance to still control the ball if you slightly miss hit it. And when you do catch the ball well, you get a really nice thud behind the back of it. It feels really pure off your foot. However, the biggest change they've made to the RS15's kicking surface is one that I personally have been begging for for a long time now. They've changed from the rubberized grip elements used on the surface of the Predator and adapted the boot to have this sticky upper surface instead. This unique kick coating on the increased surface area of the boot not only provides you with control in the lovely summer heat, but also in the wet winters, which you're commonly going to be wearing this boot in. And from my short time kicking in these, I can already feel a different kind of grip. You still get the predator feeling when striking the ball, but I do feel a little bit more in control of the direction of the ball. But also, and more importantly, in my opinion, the reason why I've been begging for this change is because of what it contributes to the comfort of the boot. Now to stick the grip elements onto the surface of the boot makes the surface quite stiff. But also, and more importantly in my opinion, the reason why I've been begging for this change so much is how it contributes to the comfort of the boot. 
to have the rubberized grip elements stuck to the surface of the old Predator made the surface quite stiff. But with the RS-15, the surface with this sticky grip element on top, which still catches and controls the ball really well, is a lot more streamlined, making the boot a lot more flexible through the upper, which essentially just makes the boots a lot more comfortable on feet. So not only do you get the enhanced kicking performance, but the boots aren't sacrificing any comfort to get you to that level. Look, I'm not saying that lacing up in the RS-15 is gonna give you back rowers a free reign to kick the ball whenever you like. But if you do find yourself putting the ball on your size 15 feet, then it gives you a great surface to do that with. And not just quality for an all round rugby boot, but quality for a specific kicking boot that rivals and possibly even surpasses the old Predator. The fourth and final evolution that Adidas needed to adapt the RS-15 to align with is the increased ball in play time we're finding throughout World Rugby. Whether it's from the lower levels of amateur rugby all the way through to the top tier of professional international rugby, you're going to need a boot that lasts you to and through the full 80 minutes of a match and that makes comfort of utmost priority with any boot. Adidas have achieved this primarily through the fit of the boot, especially in the heel area. The boot is spacious enough to fit all foot shapes, even you wide-footed back rowers. I've gone for my usual size 10 and a half, and these fit me spot on, especially with the deep lacing system. You get an option of two holes to put your laces through, which essentially gives you a customizable fit. Although spacious enough to accommodate all foot shapes, the boot has the necessary tightness in the heel area to lock your foot in and prevent any energy loss whilst pushing off, whether that's in contact areas, turning in spaces or accelerating. It was actually Darwin that said, it's not the fastest or the strongest animals that survive and thrive in the wild, it's the animals that adapt to evolution. And Adidas have designed a boot that not only helps you to survive a full 80 minutes on a rugby pitch, but actually helps you to thrive in that environment. The boots are built to give you a literal advantage on the pitch. It's almost a cheat code. Having worn these boots for the last hour or so, I am a massive, massive fan. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Leave a like whilst you're there and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've been OJ from Level Rugby and I'll see you in the next one.